Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to create an Excel gauge chart. The Excel gauge chart, also called the speedometer chart, consists of a dial-like structure over which a needle-like pointer represents a specific point in the data. This type of chart helps to depict the performance of the data. We need to create three labels. The first and second labels are used to create the donut chart and the final label is used to create the pie chart. The first table denotes the category in the chart. Create the data points in increment values so that the intermediate data points can add to the maximum value. The second table is optional. It denotes the labels in the chart. The third table denotes the pointer and three values. In this table, you can specify the value you want to denote and the width of the pointer. The rest value denotes the total value of the first table minus the pointer value and the pointer width. Let us create a chart for the data in the first table. Navigate to Insert, and then click on the dropdown from Insert Pie or Donut Chart. This will populate an empty chart since we have not selected any data. To add data to the chart, right click on the empty space and select Select Data. In the Select Data Source dialog box, click on Add. In the Series Name text box, enter any name for the data. In the Series Values text box, click on the Select Data button and select the data under the Value section of the first table. Click OK. This gives you the donut chart. You can see the orientation of the chart is a bit off. To change the angle of the chart, right click on the donut chart and select Format Data Series. In the Format Data Series, under the Series Options, change the angle of the first slice to 270 degrees. If you want to change the size of the chart, change the donut hole size. Now let us delete the bottom part of the donut chart. Select the part you want to delete. Select the Fill and Line section and click on No Fill. If you want to change the colors of the other data points, click on the data points, navigate to the Line and Fill section, and select the color from the drop-down. Let us now select the data labels which will act as cues for the viewers. In the Customize Shortcut buttons, click on Chart Elements, and select Data Labels. This populates the numbers on the chart. Now, right-click on the numbers and select Format Data Labels. In the Format Data Labels pane, select Values from Cells, and select the headers corresponding to the values. Click OK. Uncheck any other checkbox in the Data Labels option. Now, delete any unnecessary data labels and elements by clicking on them. Thus, we have the donut chart, which acts as a scale over which the pointer moves. Plotting the second chart by using the second table is an optional part of creating the Excel gauge chart. This part is mainly helpful to give you in-depth cues and additional scaling to the existing chart. Add the secondary chart the same way you have added the primary chart. Then comes the third, final, and most important step in creating the Excel gauge chart. To create the pointer, right-click on any empty space in the chart and select Select Data. This opens up the Select Data Source dialog box. In the Legend Entries series, click on Add. This in turn opens the Edit Series dialog box. Enter the series name in the text box given below. In the Series Values text box, select the data in the Values column from the third table. Click OK. Then right click on the donut chart and select Change Series Chart Type. In the Change Chart Type dialog box, select Combo and click on Custom Combination. In the Pointer Data Series, click on the drop down and select Pi. Click OK. If the angle is not correct, right click and select Format Data Series. Under the Series option, Select the angle of the first slice to 270 degrees. Now, 
let us just leave the pointer and hide the other parts of the chart. Click on the data points in the pie chart. Navigate to the Fill in Line section in the Format Data series and click on No Fill. Delete any unwanted elements or move the chart elements to your preference. And here it is. We have successfully created the Excel gauge chart or the speedometer chart to our liking. When you change the pointer value in the third table, the pointer in the dial changes accordingly. That is all everyone. We saw how to create an Excel gauge chart in an easy and efficient way. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.